Hi guys, um, welcome to my YouTube channel. So I'm going to be teaching you guys how to play Nowhere by Pink Pirate. Um, it's a pretty indie song. It's super simple though. There's just four chords over and over again. Um, it's the C major chord, the E minor chord, the and then it varies between the, the G major chord and the A major chord. Um, so I'll teach you guys how to put your finger placements for that. Just give me a second. I'm bringing them back up. Okay. So your C major chord. Um, first things first, you're going to need your guitar in standard tuning. Um, and then you're going to need a capo on the third fret. This is what makes it really easy to play the song. Um, and I will put the chord tabs down below um, in the description box. So let's get going. So yeah, your C major chord, you're going to have your fingers in this type of form. So you're going to have a finger on the E, A, D, G, B, E on the B string. Um, first fret from the capo. And you're going to have a finger on the D string, second fret from the capo. And then another finger on, on the A string, third fret from the capo. And you're gonna have a finger kind of muted, muting the first top E string. Um, and that's how you play the C major. Um, yeah, everything else open. And then you're gonna play the E minor, and that's everything's open except you have two fingers on the A, on the D string, second fret from the capo. And everything else open so then the G major chord and that's how you're gonna play that is you put a finger on the second fret a string finger on the E string third fret from the capo and then a finger on the other E string last one the bottom one everything else is open um, and that bottom one is third uh, fret from the capo as well so third fret and then second fret. So three fingers down. And you play everything else open, it sounds like. And then you're gonna um, do the A major chord and that one. You can vary how you play this one, but I think the one that I do, because I have small hands, it's easier for me to just put my three fingers down on the E A on the D G B strings. So D G B um, on the second fret from the capo. So put three fingers down there. One each one, D, G, B. Um, and then keep the E open and mute the first E string up here. So everything else open, so all these other all these other five strings. And then this first top one muted, so that's how you play the A. Um hold on. Let me just double check for a second. Yep. So you can either put like your three fingers down here and then um, mute it with the first in the first finger, or you can do it and wrap it around with your thumb and mute that that way. Either way. It sounds the same, whatever's more comfortable for you, go for it. Um, yeah, let's get started with the song. So, yeah, my big plushie is here, he made appearance. Um, um, yeah, um, just thought it would be a nice to showcase him, I guess. He just made his way down here. Um, anyways, so <laughs> the strumming pattern um, and the like, kind of the melody, how it goes. So the song plays, it starts with an intro of just the four chords, so the C major, then the E, ma e minor, then the G major, and then the A major, um, one after the other. And so the way that you're gonna play it, so it's gonna sound like this, so let me play it first. Just to make sure you guys are able to see. Okay. Um, just move a little bit over here. Got it. Um, so 
that's how it goes and you're just gonna do that twice and it's kind of basically the whole beat throughout the song um and so that's basically like like five strums like down down up down up or down 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 up down and then e minor and then that's So that can be down, up, down, up, down, or down, down, up, down, up. So it kind of just varies however you like it sound best. So like for me, it's... Yeah, I like it because it's a little bit faster on the E minor, like to go down, 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 up, or down, down, up, down, up. So down, down, up, down, up. And then, so like maybe five strums at the C, like five strums, or maybe six at the E. Like, what are you going? Yeah, like five strums at the E, and then at the G. Same five strums, like down, down, up, down, up. And then A major. Same, like one, two, down, down, up, down, up. And that's basically how it goes. You can vary it as you go along with the song. Um, what kind of strumming pattern you like best if you want to hear it yourself and then to it. But this is like pretty easy for me. Um, and sometimes I feel like the E minor goes a little bit faster. So I might do it like a little bit fast. And then the G, mi G, mi G major a little bit slower. And then A minor a little bit faster. So that's kind of how the whole song goes. So... I'll play the intro first, the way that sounds. So it goes. Um, and then you do that once again. And so you do that intro twice. So just that moving from C to E to G, then to A, and then over again. Um, then the verse starts with C so it goes watching the sun and then E minor come up in the G major morning yeah so that's just five strums and then C major then it goes back down in the evening So then at C major, and then it goes back down, E minor, down in the evening, G major, and then A minor after you sing even. Kind of fill in the space between the next sentence. And then it goes, how, at C major, how does she make it look so easy? Um, and so that, at how, C major, E minor, and then G major, and then A minor, and that's how it goes the whole time. Um, so basically, that's the whole verse, it's the whole pattern of the song. Um, and then again, at cuz, and then cuz, and then C major, can't get back up in the morning. So, C major, I can't get back up, E minor, in the morning, G major, and then A minor, with that strumming pattern that I was playing before. Um, then pre-chorus, it's, the strumming pattern is a little different because they also like overlay on top of the um, other guitar, which is the one that you were just playing. They're really kind of like a, like a tab, and it sounds different. Um, and that one you can like mess around with. You can play that instead instead of the original, or you can just go straight with using the same exact strumming pattern throughout the whole song. It doesn't matter. Um, and so that I'll tell you how that one sounds like. The one, um, one where they like include the little tab part. It's like. Well, no, actually, let me pull it up really quickly. To remind myself, sorry guys. Um, choo choo choo, choo choo do 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 do. Oh my god, 
gosh. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Uh oh. Uh, uh. Right, okay, so I remembered, so it's like... So it's kind of like... Ooh, see daisies? It's like... So you can play that kind of like... You can do kind of like two strums here, two down strums, and then three strums at E minor, so like, or so yeah, you can do like two down strums at C major, two down strums at E minor, or three down strums at E minor, and then three down strums at G major. Um, and that's how that part goes. You can play that. Um, instead of the other strumming pattern, um, but you'll see it's the same chords, and you can just figure out what sounds best to your ear, um, and then the rest of the song, play it the, re the regular way, so with that, like, five strumming pattern per chord. Um, so, yeah, so it goes... And then... I must be doing it wrong I must be doing it wrong I must be doing it And then, um, so yeah, so it's instead of the C Yeah, so it's still the C major, E minor, G major, and A um, G ma and A major for the pre-chorus, so it's just the C, E minor, um, G and A, and then repeat throughout the pre-chorus. So those are the that's the way that the chords go. And then the, for the chorus, that was for the pre-chorus. For the chorus, um, instead of the G first, it's the A first, and then the G chord. So that how you're gonna play that is the way it sounds is. How did I end up nowhere, nowhere? Same strumming pattern, same five strumming pattern. So, how did I end up nowhere, nowhere? And um, you can also shorten the E minor when you're going from E minor to A, because um, it's kind of like fast. You'll end up no, and then you switch to A after um, E minor that ends. So it's like end up, and then nowhere, nowhere. And then the next goes C major. How did I end up further back here, back here? Um, it's a little bit difficult to move my fingers on the fretboard, but here we go. Um, and then, so yeah, it's still C, and then E minor, and then A major, and then G major for this chorus. So instead of the G and the A that we had before in the intro and the pre-chorus, now, um, in the chorus, we're having the A and then the G. Um, and then, yeah, the only time that you switch from the um, G to the A to the A to the G is in the chorus. Um, otherwise, the whole song goes from G to A. Um, so from C, E to G, and then A. And then only in the chorus, you're going from C, E, A, and then G. Um, and so that's how you play that. And so, um, finish the chorus. C major. How did I end up nowhere, nowhere? And then, sorry, I'm just keep moving it for you guys. How did I end up further back here, back here? You can do it like that. Or, and then the interlude, um, the same thing as the intro basically, or you can include that um, little tab over where we did the like two C major strums and the 
three E minors and three Gs and then focus on the same A five starting pattern. So you can just do it like that or you can do it the way that we've been doing it. The, all of them have the five starting patterns. So. so the interlude is C major, E minor, and then G and then A. Um, or you can do it this way with the different starting pattern. Um, yeah, whatever you like. And then we go to verse 2, and it's the same C, E minor, then G, and then A. Um, so I'll play it. Crescent moon comes out in the evening. And then C major. It never went back down in the sun as the sun did. Then C major. How does she make it look so easy? And then C major. Cause I can't even get up in the morning. So, um... Uh, some of these in verse 2, you can maybe play the C major a little bit longer than five strums because um, we're going to like singing it out. Um, however, it helps you keep up with the with the song because it's kind of difficult to sing at the same time. Um, go for it. Um, just do whatever sounds best to you for you. It, I mean, I mean, I assume we're all beginners. Um, but yeah, um, yeah, just keep practicing and you'll get better at it. Um, just do whatever you need to do in order to feel comfortable playing the song. Because either way, it's going to sound good. Cool. Um, and then we get to pre-chorus. And it's the same. Um, you can do that little, like... Or... So whatever sounds best to you. Because it kind of has that little tab that we did before, and then I must be doing it, so it ends at A, so it's a C, E, and G, and then A, I must be doing it, as after A, wrong, I must be doing it, wrong, so here, yeah, we're in C, E major, G, A, then C, then E, then G, and then A. So I must A doing it, C wrong, doing it, E wrong, G. I must A. Um, and that's how that goes. And then the chorus is basically yeah, C major, E major, A major, and G. All over and over again. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's yeah, eight times, because it's like has eight lines where how did I end up nowhere? How did I end up further back here? And then those repeat four times, those two sentences. So a total of eight. Um, and that sounds same strumming pattern, same five strumming pattern as before um, for each single, let's see, for each single chord. So I'll just play it. And then. How did I end up nowhere, nowhere? So I like to play the last one, last sentence a little bit slower, and it ends on G. Just back here. That's it. Um, and that's how the song goes. Yeah, I hope you guys liked my tutorial. If you have any questions, please let me know.
um, thank you so much and have a great day. Take care, everybody. Also, just a tip, um, I would use a lot of reverb. Um, that's what I use in the song, and it sounded pretty beautiful. Um, yeah, lots of reverb. If you have a pedal, even great. Um, if not, just rock it without it. Um, use an amp without an amp, whatever. It sounds great anyways. Um, but yeah, thank you. Bye.